when we train in a hybrid setting, remote participants see the same things that the class sees as we share them on the screen. Also, we set up a camera so that the remote participants can see the class and actually engage in conversations with them and see the person on the other end. So it really helps people to, to feel involved. Remote participants can ask questions and participate in discussions. And if we go on a field trip, why we just connect with Teams or Google Meet on someone's phone who's on the trip and the remote participant is still involved. It's hard to get shared experiences, especially when everybody comes from different backgrounds. So what we like to do is to use a lot of video then so that we can watch the same thing together and then discuss it. All the videos we use in training can be found on YouTube in our playlists. I filmed people working and posted the recordings online in YouTube in our playlists. I call them online Muda walks. Muda is a Japanese word that means waste. And we use these videos to watch other people working, determine the waste that's inherent in the things that they do, and then work to come up with countermeasures to reduce or eliminate that waste. If we're working together with a group on site, then we take a mood walk out into the operations area. Remote participants tag along on teams. What I find is after being exposed to CI thinking, people start to think differently and they start to have different conversations as a result of looking for opportunities. If we're training off site in our offices or in a hotel perhaps, then we'll ask people ahead of time to film maybe up to five minutes of people working so that they can bring it to class and we can break it down as a group and then come up with suggestions that the people can take away and implement. Uh, I find it to be a big help in getting people to recognize waste in daily life. I have a lot of work environments that I've recorded with my online Moodle walks. One is a packing operation, another is assembly operation, the third is machine operation involving a stamping press changeover. I also have bagel footage from a cabinet shop as well. So lots of different environments and people can see how these lean principles apply to work no matter what the context or the situation. I use a lot of video in training. Most of them are under 10 minutes long and funny. What they all share in common though is that they have a strong, clear message about improvement, usually in a group environment. If you search for two second lean on YouTube, you'll find lots of videos yourself of people showing improvements in their workspace. Online mood walks is the best thing I've seen for driving shared discussions uh, with a group. I also use a lot of online calculators or sims. You can find simulations demonstrating the central limit theorem from statistics. Uh, I've also seen the red bead experiment from Deming, simulators online. Goldratt's dice and matchsticks experiment from his book The Goal is also available online. I've seen that several times. And the most recent one that I found was the beer game, which is a simulation about supply chain and uh, I found a site where you can play it for free. When I'm training for my home studio, I like to use my Captivo whiteboard camera. Camera sends whatever I write to a URL that everyone can look at. I can also take it and, and loop it through so that it's part of the presentation as well. When I don't have my electronic whiteboard, I like to use Microsoft Whiteboard. It's a free app on any device you've got and it's also a browser download. So when we're collaborating, maybe doing a mind map or I'm explaining something on a board, then everyone can connect to that. They can collaborate, they can draw on it themselves, and they can see what everybody else is thinking. So I really like that. For me, I love when the group asks questions because when we have questions, when we have discussions, then I understand what the class knows. Uh, I'd much rather sacrifice more slides for more of that discussion really like when people ask questions because then I know how they're thinking. I like to know what people are thinking so I can tailor my talk to what they need to get out of the topic. Oh. So I didn't mute him, I muted me. So thank you for that. No, it's, the problem is, Brian, I have to keep switching this back and forth. I think I, uh, I, think I lost you guys again. Yes. Uh... Yep. Hold on, I'll text Aaron. Operation. I mean, I'm following me. What is going on? Okay. <laughs>